What is going on, beat up guy family? Welcome back to the channel, baby. You know who we are, but I will introduce you one more time, anyways. This is Daisy and I'm Mel. Boys and girls, as you can see, we got a new microphone. Courtesy of one of our fans, yeah, of one of our to, followers. I yeah, want to give the shout out to Cameron Boardman. Sorry if I uh, misspelled your last name. I want to say thank you for the comment. You help us with that. You know, like we didn't think about that because we thought that with the other microphone that the camera has, it's gonna have a good audio. But you know, it wasn't because we didn't wanted to to make the you know the, the change. Yeah, uh -huh. the change. It wasn't because we thought we didn't need it. Uh, we have already the other thing that our fan asked that is to put the the screen on the back so you can see all the fires and all and we will have it we have it already the only that we need is figure it out yeah. to set up to the computer and then you will have that and we are ready to go i want to say thank you again to all the people that are subscribing and watching the videos that mean the world to us because we are beating our ass like the cat said beat up cat you know to give you guys the best possible a uh, pick that we have uh, make money we have been killing so far this year you know also this is gonna be our six wing in a row and this is a pepper pay view car so you know it's gonna be fire there's yep. bells online now obviously uh as you boys can see uh like yac said we got a new microphone this is still going to be a trial and error the first video we still we did some testing and it sounded fine but until we don't upload this to youtube we don't know how it's going to sound it sounds better looking at it from the perspective of the camera itself but everything changes once you upload the video to the computer from the computer to uh our youtube channel so forgive us if you see something going on with the audio yeah. in this very first video we are trying to figure it out we just install it and we just got to best buy yeah because, some we cable needed because we, cable. it was missing yeah. one of the not missing we needed a, a an aux cable for this and uh, which we didn't know um like i said trial and error okay so we are gonna move on to the fights and let's start let's get them boys all right so and the first fight we are going to have in the early prelims is a, it's a light heavyweight bout between albert versus negumerano i think that's how he you spell his name yeah. now we don't have a pick between these two fellas but i'm gonna let jc do all the talking and who he think he's gonna win it he can give all the description in every single fight okay right. so this fight it is albert like mel said against negumerano uh, this fight, I think that it's going to be a hell of a fight, but it can play out two different ways. The first thing, Carl, Carlos Ober, like, gas out because going for the KO, because Nego Mariano, you have to go with a shovel or, I don't know, with a table to KO this guy. This guy has a, the toughest chin that I have never seen, you know, like he can get a knock down, he can get everything and he's going forward, forward like a zombie. So we have seen like Albert trying to go to the finish, sometimes he gas out himself. And the other factor is going to be the pressure that Negu Mariano has. It. You know, he always go forward and when you go backwards, he's tired up, you know. So I think that Albert can win it if he pick it apart, like a Alexander style, you know, fighting from the outside, kicking in the legs, you know, doing kickboxing. But if Negu Mariano uh, trying to do like his pressure like he always fight I think that I'll win this fight you know I will if I have to give you a pick guys it will be fight doesn't go to a decision but we don't we doesn't have a personal pick on this one so no bet for us in this one all right so the next fight is going to be a bantamweight bout between RC versus Jackson mm -hmm. now in my opinion these two guys to me it's the first time that I see them uh, it looks like ours has been fighting but mm -hmm maybe I haven't been paying attention to his fights or I don't remember this fella yeah. and Jackson I seems he has fights too but I did not know these guys at all so yeah the, the problem with this guy they have been like fighting in prelims prelims and uh, there has not been a lot of time like they have been fighting this year Jackson has been one year and a half without fighting and RC just Fought, I think that five or six months ago against Willie Cat and he right. won the decision. 
I think that we pick him in that fight. But this fight is kind of weird because you are paying minus 200 on a guy that you haven't seen in one year and a half. He can be making big improvement, but anyway, like the level of competition that he has showed when he fight with the UFC is really low. And the other guy has been fighting against better guys, you know. So I prefer, like Mel said, watch these guys and see what is really happening with them, and then we decide. You know, yeah. like there is a lot of good bets that we can do on this card, so there is no need to go anxious at the beginning. You know, enjoy the first fight, get hit, get hot, and then we strike. All right. So we... if anything, sorry, sorry, Mel. If anything, I will go with Arce because he's plus one seventy. You know. Right. All right, so you heard the man, guys. So the third fight of the night is going to be a featherweight bout between Trisano versus Shoei. Me, personally, I don't like this fight. Yeah. <laughs> Me neither. I, what can I, yeah. uh, you know. It's super uh, weird fight. It's, uh, I mean, these guys are coming from losses. And I get it. You yeah. cannot win every single fight. I Not think that single... if they, anything that they lost the fight, like a, anyone that lost the fight lost their job, you know. I think that this fight... No, nah, it'll be the third fight. It'll be the third fight, you know. I don't think. I don't know. For Depends how often these guys fight. Depends how many, how long they have in the contract. I don't know. But I've seen people that have worse records coming. Four, five fights, losing streaks. And they don't get booted until later on. There's been examples that the guys have been losing like two or three fights only. And then, <laughs> bye-bye. But, I don't know. So, no pick over there for sure, guys. And the next fight is going to be a women's strawweight bout between Goals, Kiwiks versus Gomez Juarez. And this is our first pick, and we are, Gome, we are going with Gomez. Yeah. And the reason for that, JC will tell yeah. you every single detail while we're yeah. going with this lady. First male, I think that his name is Kowals. Kowalski, because it's Kowals from Kiwis. I don't know, man. Yeah. It's this weird name. Sorry, if they, we I, have any fan from Europe that can help us out in the comment <laughs> with the name, because we are killing that lady against Silvana. I'm butchering his last her yeah, last name. Gomez, that lady is a problem. Like she has like the best uh, percentage of knockdowns on the strawweight division on the on the ladies. You know, she really hit hard. She has six knockdowns, okay? And it's not only in the UFC. When she was fighting in Argentina and Latin America, she was killing it over there also. So we know that it's really hard the way that she strikes. And the only problem that she has is a ground game. But there is no problem with Carolina over here. She is 37 years old and she only attained two takedowns in all his fight in the UFC. Okay, so in mind, you have been like a better in the sport. She said that maybe this is her last fight, and you know, you, this is never a good sign when a fighter said that it's the last fight. I think that she's going for a check, and Gomez is really hard. I think that with one punch, it can be over, like the last time that Gomez fight the Chinese lady. So, this is our first pick of the night, Silvana yep. Gomez by so, KO. And uh, it's gonna be money line, but if you want like juice, you can bet a, a by KO plus 250. All right. So let's move on to the third to the next fight of the night. It's gonna be a lightweight bout between Fervola versus Asai Tar. And this pick. is our second pick of the night, and we're going with Asai Tar. I just took a very quick look at this guy. This guy is nasty, yeah. You know, like, I was reading today that they are saying that he was on steroids. Like, that was the reason, like, he almost got cut of the UFC. Like, Dana White wanted to cut it off. But, you know, what he's saving? Uh, he's a really good friend of Khabib. And Khabib, you know, in put in the middle. But why would Dana White want to cut this guy? Because the problem was that, did you remember that this guy was supposed to fight when there was a COVID time? And he entered someone in the hotel. That was the reason that they sell. Remember that we were watching it over there during COVID when he was in mm -hmm. Fire Island. So they are saying that someone entered and broke the protocols that they have. Like no one came in. And they are saying like the truth was that they were like giving like a cardboard ray or something that he wanted like to recover better. And he will have an advantage. You know, like when you do your weight, they don't test you anymore for the fight. So, like, they give you something for for him, you know, to perform better. 
Right. So that was the reason that they wanted to cut it, but they say like protocols and that. And they're saying like he's on after all and that. Well, guys, I don't care. Like he really, he really hit hard. And also he's training with the GOAT. You know, when Kavi has someone under his wing, that guy is good. Okay. Also, I think that the only way that Frivola can win this fight is like grinding with the wrestling. But we know, uh, we and, know. I, and I don't even think so. This guy, even though his takedown difference is on zero, I just took a look at his resume. And this guy has submitted people. When you have the ability to submit people that know submission, they got blood belts. It means this guy knows the ground. However, he chooses to fight on his feet. Yeah. This guy is very, very dangerous. And Frebola has been not tall in all his losses. We saw what McKinney did in 70 seconds mm -hmm. to him. Like, he doesn't have a good team. So, you know, that's the reason we have with Asai Taro there, our, our second pick of the night. All right. That's it, fellas. So, we're going to move on to the next fight. It's going to be a middleweight bout between Petrovsky versus Thurman. Horrible fight. <laughs> he said it. So, yeah. this fight, yeah, if anything, guy, bear Turner. The only other one to see over here to say is like Petrovsky has been horrible. The level of competition that he has fought, every only to you guys to know, every fighter that Petrovsky has fought has been caught in the UFC. So, imagine that all the fighters that he has been winning, they are being caught. You know, and Wellington, he has been training now with a uh, Global Teixeira. And he has been fighting the better, the better competition. So if anything, guys, bet the plus money over there in tournament. Now, the next fight of the night is going to be a women's flyweight bout between Blanche Field, Blanche Field versus McCann. This is now, our third pick of the night. This is our third pick. And uh, who are we picking? Blanche Field. Blanche Field? Yeah. Right. Uh, he's going to be a murderer. Like all the fight that McCann has lost has been with good wrestler, and we saw what Blanche Lee did to uh, Maverick, and we saw last week what Maverick do to Chana Young. So you know that uh, McCann, I think that he's gonna get some mid first or the second round. I think that she has all this wave under her because of of. Patty Pimblet, not because of herself, you know? No, no, no. I think you're mistaken in there. This girl has the biggest yeah. heart on her weight line. Okay. The we'll way that she fights, not all the women fights. We're betting against her. Because we'll see her on Saturday. Uh, she's going to get you know, That she loses or not doesn't mean that she... Yeah, loses. but the way that she's going to lose. Remember my... No, nah, the way... It, it could, she could lose on the submission. That's, 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 that's what we're betting against her. But this other girl doesn't have the heart that this little girl has the point is this girl is gonna get her with a submission that's what we believe in but yeah. that she has McCann's heart absolutely not I am not saying it, about the only heart. thing that I'm, I am saying about her no, skills her skills is, is perfect it's perfect to beat in McCann it's perfect no no no, no. I'm saying like the skill that McCann's heart is not like the best thing in the world. No, it's yeah. just the pressure that she puts McCann yeah, puts a lot of pressures say. on the fighter the well, only they, problem they, that they she they has the big problem that McCann has is her reach yeah, and her skill set. Yeah. She is an amazing fighter in the way that she puts a lot of pressure. And most of these girls, they don't have what it takes to, um, and they're going to break under this pressure. But then you have this special breed. They know what to do. They will take it to the ground, take it to the deep water, and submit it. This is one of those cases that I believe in. The only thing that I'm worried about this pick, though, about this fight, it's if this other girl decides to fight McCann on her on her own two feet, the whole three rounds, and McCann starts putting in the pressure, because it doesn't matter if this girl keeps getting hit, she keeps moving forward and forward until she gets what she wants, and that's beating you by points or knockouts. Mm -hmm. We are seeing how she does. Blanchfield needs to get this girl to the deep water yeah. as soon as possible. Yeah, and if this fight is then, uh, stand, stand up. That's the only thing that I'm worried McCann about. McCann can win. But yeah. Blanchfield has every single skill set to beat McCann on breakfast, dinner, and lunch. Yeah. And uh, we are going to move to a very interesting fight and, yes, re sir. and the return of Reyes. Yeah. It's a light heavyweight bout between Reyes versus Span. Span. Well, we are not personally, 
<laughs> one, two, three. I do believe that Dominic Reyes is going to win this one. However, in the manner of the way that he lost the last fight, especially the last fight against Yuri Prochaska, I honestly do not know if something has been damaged with this fella. Yeah. This fella is championship caliber, but I don't know if after that fight, I do not mean to disrespect this guy. This guy is a warrior. If, I don't know if this guy has been broken. I want to see the return of Dominic Reyes. Two years without fighting. Two years without fighting, exactly. We don't know what That's to say. very really long. Know. However, yeah. you can take that into a positive vibe yeah. too. Because two years is a very long time too for you to heal and recover. Yeah. And maybe we'll see a much better Dominic Reyes. He has been training with Glover Teixeira and also with a... Alex, Alex Pereira, so he has good company over there. Yeah, that's good. And the only thing that I'm uh, like, I don't want to bet this fight is because Span hit really hard. And we know that Dominic Ray has been broken in the past. The yeah, last broken fights. by big ass guys, not yeah. side, like somebody like Span. We're yeah. not talking about Gini Prochaska. This yeah, guy, but this guy hit this really guy, hard. He's really this big. This guy, Gini Prochaska, eats metal and sheds machetes. Yeah, I know, but this guy is super big. He's 6'5 and he's reaching 79. So, you know, like, if this guy hit you, you're going down. That's the only thing that I'm saying. Like, Dominic Ray has the speed advantage and the technical advantage. But I think that in the power, I think that he's spam all day. Mm. So that's the, see, the only. Let's see what happens when they yeah. when when they face up. I, wa I want to see what happens with this. I one. like I like fight doesn't go to decision or the under one point five. These two guys they don't go to decision so much. So you right know. on. All right, so the next fight of the night is gonna be a light heavyweight bout between Riddell versus Moicano. This is a good one, guys. Mm -hmm. Really good one. Bradell from City King Boxing and Renato Moicano. He has been training now in America Top Team for a while. This guy, Moicano is really good, but he was trying to convince himself that he was a boxer and that was the reason that he had two losses in, in a row. This guy is a, a black belt in BJJ. One loss. No, he That's lost. One loss. He lost to, to VCF. And he lost. Yeah, but that's the. Yeah, yeah, but that's what. That's only one. That's one loss in a row, not two. Okay, okay, okay. So the last fight he lost, the one fight before that, it's a win. Dos Santos. Yeah, then, but I'm saying like the the last two losses that he has was because he was yeah, trying to he was be trying, a boxer. He was trying to be a boxer. And yeah. he didn't want to. Go no to IQ. Bro, no IQ, boys and girls. When you, know, you try not to use your IQ, that's what happens. But in the last fight, he showed that when he takes your back, you are over. You know, mm. this guy, Radell, he's really good fighter and he's from um, a city kid boxing. And I think that uh, he can take the takedowns and stop it, but it's going to be really hard fight. So this one can go either way. So I, I don't want to say no one over here. Mm -hmm. This fight is really, really, really complicated. So I prefer to be... A, outside but if anything i would go with the wrestling guy you know like he can put the pressure on it yep all right boys and girls so we're gonna move on to the next fight of the night this is the main card each and every single fight is gonna be the main card from now on it's gonna be a light heavyweight bout and the return of dan hooker versus Puelles. yeah now this is also our lock of the night we are going with hooker i think that this fight they are fitting hooker like hooker have been giving tough tough opponents by the ufc and the ufc is giving it a favor back because i don't think that Poyes can can beat a uh, hooker no by any chance the only chance that i'm seeing is if Poyes gets his knee but you know like play is not an offensive wrestler he likes to you know go to the ground but sometimes when he goes to the ground it's because someone knocking out and then he catches you know mm -hmm. but i think that hooker on the stand-up is gonna be a murder like if you see the level of competition that hooker has been getting against the guys that Poyes has got you you don't see like clay Wira, a uh, Bruce marker a uh, the monkey king so these guys has not been in the same level than that hooker dustin Poirier. Uh, Michael Chandler, Islam Makache, and Arnold Allen. You cannot compare, you know, the level of competition. And you are giving me Hooker at minus 140. I'm going to take it all day. I'm going to smash this play. You know, this one is my favorite bet. And for me, it's our luck of the night. 
All right, so we are going to move on to the next fight of the night, boys and girls. It's going to be a bantamweight bout between Frankie Edgar versus Gutierrez. Now, what do you think about this one, JC? Yeah, uh, Edgar is saying that he's going to retire after this fight. I think that he's 43 years old or 38. I don't, I don't remember well. And Chris Gutierrez, El Guapo, he's going like forward. I think that he wants to get ranked after this fight if he win it. I think that it's a good matchup. It's really interesting fight, but I think that the only way that Edgar can get a decision if he go with his wrestling. But if he stand up and trying to uh, change blows with uh, Gutierrez, he's gonna get annihilated. I think so. You know, but I don't like to to bet my not two hundred on a guy that you know. Uh, he hasn't beat no one, and um, Frankie Edgar, you know, has a lot of experience. Mm -hmm. He's washed, but he can win a fight by decision. He can go and wrestle for three minutes, mm -hmm. for sorry, tire for three rounds, and, and tire him out. And you know, he was winning the fight against Chito Vera. Like we saw that Chito Vera knocked him out in the first round, but he was winning that fight. So you know, he got caught, and then Sanjaya killed him completely. But you know, he is still Frankie Edgar, and he can get a a win over here and in his last fight. I would say that I like Edgar because the money, because you cannot put like minus 250 in a guy that you know like, he's not like the level of competition that Edgar has. Usually they do that because they feel like uh, since the other guy is gonna be yeah. fighting a legend, he mm -hmm. might uh, he might be nervous under the pressure of fighting somebody like, like Frankie Edgar and uh, the first thing that comes to their mind is they're fighting the Frank Yeager from 10 years ago. Well, that might not be the case. Yes, sir. And uh, so we're going to move on to the next uh, fight of the night. And it's a light heavyweight bout and the return of these two fellas. This is going to be an explosive one. It's none other than the Diamond himself, the Poirier versus Chandler. Now... What do you like over here? To I like Poirier. To, I like Poirier, but if this guy keeps coming at him, is yeah, going with the pressure. He, he with the pressure and Poirier gets caught in a corner. If this is gonna be done quick and brutally, yeah. Chandler here, regardless that you are his brother, once you step in the ring with this fella, he's coming for the win. Either you kill him or he kills you. Yeah. I think that if Chandler wins, has to be like in the first round or the second half. Sorry, the first half of the second round. If this fight like go forward after the half of the second round, I think that Chandler we saw like his cardio is not getting in point, like he going like you know slowing down himself and like this guy like his chin is not a very chin in the in the UFC. If you have seen he has been getting not uh, not down in every fight. Every fight, Gagey. Oliveira yeah, Oliveira but Oliveira still, Gagey has amazing power, man. It's, uh, has his team. And, and, and they went five rounds beating each other. No, three rounds. Well, three rounds beating each other. Poirier hasn't done that in a very long time. Yeah. So if Poirier thinks that he's going to go beat this guy down in three rounds like that, he's going to get knocked out. He needs to tire this guy out, take him to the ground, or be technical, be looking for that special hit, and, and knock him out. Because I don't see I don't see Poirier going wild like Justin Gagey did with Chandler. He's not gonna last with this guy. If he goes like that, mark my words, he's gonna get his his head torn off, and his eyes are gonna roll back to the back of his head, and that's gonna be it. He needs to be technical with Chandler. Chandler is aggressive and strong, but he lacks a little bit of technique, and that's where the diamond could get him. That's where he could get him, but going as aggressive as Chandler, I don't see it happening. Unless Chandler is a smoking weed and not coming to train. So the next fight is a championship fight against Carlos Parza mm -hmm. against Chan Wei Li Ooh. for the woman straw weight bout a uh, title. Sorry, I like this one. Yeah. But uh, I'll be honest. I think uh, Sparza's reign of Championship has come to an end, fellas. <laughs> I gotta say, what did I gotta you see say. the Did you see the video of Chan Wei Li uh, taking taking a 
lifting, lifting eh, en Nongano. They no. said video, yeah, she posted on her Instagram. She lifted Nongano and she weighed 115 pounds. And Nongano weighs 265 pounds. Yeah, she's a strong lady. She's a very strong lady. And very also, strong. something that I like is Chan Wei Lee has been training with Seguro, Seguro and uh, Becerra, no, Be uh, Becerin. That is the training from Seguro. These two guys are the best of the best in wrestling. So, you know, like. Her wrestling is gonna be on point, and we don't have to say like on the feet it's gonna be Wiley all the time. So I really like this fight, oh, yeah. and this is our last pick because we're going, we're going with Wiley here, boys and girls. There's no argument. Yeah. Now this is a thing. If Sparsa wins by a by any miracle of the <laughs> Lord, and I mean, if she wins by any means, even by points, but you can see that there was a difference in points, I would never say anything against this lady ever again, even if she starts losing from that point onward. But, I would never but say But we anything. have to see if there is no a robbery for the judges. I, that's what I said. Oh, if she wins by a big, even if she wins by point, but she, that you can see, see that she yeah. won by points, like yeah. actual points, yeah. not no. robbery shit. Yeah, <laughs> like, to, I'm talking about that. like distance. If she, if she's able to, to, I'm talking here being, uh, this is, you know, completely honest. Uh, a miracle of the Lord, literally. If she submits Whaley and or if she knocks her out, if she wins by a big margin of points. I would never say anything negative ever again about Sparsa in this podcast, in this channel, ever, ever. Remember that you have to because buy a teacher from a Tenseida. I remember that. I haven't bought that teacher, but Do like... story, you haven't done it. I haven't done it. I said that if Tenseida would win against, who was it? Uh, Blasikowski. Blasikowski? No, Bla Blachowicz, Blachowicz, the guy from Poland. Yeah, was... if he won the title, I would I would buy a t-shirt. I haven't bought a t-shirt from him. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but I, ha I haven't spoken more, I haven't spoken anything else about that dude ever. Yeah. Again. It's going to be the same thing with Sparsa. Yeah. For because of the years. level of training that yeah. Sam Whaley has and who she's training with. Yes, sir. Man, Sparsa has a lot on her shoulders right now. So let's I, go to the main event of the evening and the best fight that everyone has been waiting for. So I leave you. Boys and girls. This is a rematch. Actually, this is the third time these guys are facing. But in another sport. Yeah. And still, Adesanya lost against this guy twice. Yeah, the first by decision, the second one by KO. But right. we have to say that in the second one, Alessandra was winning. I was, yeah, but he get not down. If you are, if you're winning, but then you don't get it, it means you never got it. Yeah, that's true. So, who went the goal? Your breakdown over here. What my breakdown? Think? Well, Alessandra is a little different. It's a different animal than before, though. I gotta say that Pereira is still Pereira though. He's coming to the UFC and he's putting a clinic on every single guy that you put in front of this son of a bitch. Yeah. He doesn't give a damn. Now, do you, let me ask you so, only one thing and then you continue. Do you think that if Pereira hit, it's gonna be easier because the, the gloves are smaller than the king boxing? He's gonna have more strength when he hit? The, 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 the thing is, he didn't give a... He, didn't he knock out Alessandra with, with that? pillow, pillow, pillow gloves. That is the kickboxing one. These yes. ones are only four pounds. So of course, the hit is gonna be it's gonna harder, be, right? It's gonna be more impactful. Yeah. And, and, so but then again, he's gonna be receiving more impactful okay. hits too because Alessandra is gonna have be having the same gloves as this guy. I think that Alessandra is gonna fight from the outside, right? He he's fight. gonna fight from the outside. He's gonna fight like the last. I mean, not like the last time they fought because Alessandra tried to get inside this guy. Yeah. And this guy is really good on the clinch, and yeah. he's really good on the inside. If you go to the inside to this guy, it's like you're going, you're going into a deep water river with a crocodile. <laughs> a hurricane. With a crocodile, and and. Adesanya has one of the biggest skill sets that I have seen yeah. of an MMA fighter in a long time. And also a counter striking. I think that Adesanya is one of the best. The yeah, way. but that's the thing. That's Pereira bread and butter too. He's also really aggressive. Yeah. This guy, we, I mean, I, I'm, 
I'm kind of inclined to say that Alessandria is going to win this one. But this is the thing. Alessandria already knows that he, she, I mean, he has lost against this guy. That's on, that's, twice. do you think that he has that on his mind? And, and uh, that's what I'm worried about. That he may have that lingering yeah. still on his head. Knowing this guy took Don't my know. rent, took my food, and all my bitches twice in my life he probably gonna do it a third time so i'm wondering that he still part, has that lingering his, in people his mind. are saying like he lost two times he's not gonna be a fair one because he already he already know Pereira. but you know you can say the same we can, exactly Alexander. we can say Pereira, the same Pereira knows, Pereira. Pereira knows that the senior has beaten him I'm better twice. because he was the guy who to <laughs> knocked him out yeah. and yeah. it was pretty bad fellas yeah but let me say this it's flat it was pretty bad. It was stiff. But I, if I do believe that Arasanya could beat this guy, I'm so fucking look me. Yeah. Yes, he can. Now, but, Pereira is dangerous. Fella. Yeah, but who do you like? If if they put you like a gun on your head and say, I'm obligated to bet this fight, who do you put your money on? I'll still say Arasanya. Yeah, me too. He's a different animal now. Now, and also, it has been, I think, like five years till they don't... don't no! Ten years, I think. You have to go really back because he has been champion like for eight years. Mm -hmm. So you know. So I was in kickboxing. That's it for that, boys and girls. We're gonna revisit yeah. who we picked. So, so you guys, oh, we got we got Gomez Juarez on the first pick. The second one is Asai Tar. Mm -hmm. The third one is Blanchfield. Mm -hmm. The fourth one is going to be Hooker. And it's our lock of the night. And the lock of the night. And I the know, fifth, fifth one is Whaley Singh. Yeah. Now, boys and girls, this is gonna be our six week in a row. Six week in a row. Let's go get him. By the way, props to Mr. Hey, Cameroon. Cameroon, boy. appreciate it. that. And also, uh, if they have like anything else, want something special, something, let us know. You know, we want to uh, give you all that you guys want. You know, like everything that we can help you guys. We are here for that, so comment and like the video, subscribe, tell your friends, and comment whatever you want, guys. Like, this is the reason that we work over here really hard. You know, like, we give you the best product that we can have. All right. Something so, else? No, that'll be all. So, catch you boys and girls in the next one. See ya. Bye-bye.